Hey guys, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about food and stuff, and like what I've been up to, and uh, just been concentrating on working on me, and knowing that I don't have all the answers, you know, and that we're all going through this and experience and learning as we go along, and it's like a constant state of deprogramming from what the stuff you've been told, and um, health stuff, you guys, and for you guys that are trying to, to eat as healthy as you can, if you haven't found them on here already, Robert Morris, N.D., check him out, and that's a great place to start, but the one thing I learned, see, well, I got some organic kale here, got an onion, the cucumber that I grew outside, got cabbage, a couple radishes, some peppers, carrot, chopped up, um, colored, the stems there, and I'll blend up some of this stuff up, and that's all spinach that I grew outside, and there's a little colored, and it's always important to wash your food off and stuff, but, you know, with the water and that's got fluoride in it and all them different things. And then I got some salsa back here. And I'll probably add some, uh, in spices. Like thyme, there's one, you know, you got to check it out. All them spices are great. Like drinking, um, green tea is very good for you, the antioxidants. That's why blueberries are good for you, the antioxidants. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that you can look, just type in about the food and what nutrients are in the carrot and what nutrients are in the cabbage and the kale. I mean, you look at dandelions and all the stuff that's growing in most people's yards, which you've been told is weeds or not. Dandelions is a great one to look up. But um, I take it one to two teaspoons of coconut oil a day, and it's great for pain, you guys. And uh, like the clover, see, I got some of these drying out. I got a couple jars of them. We can make clover tea. And the white, these are white clovers. And there's uh, different things they do from the that red clover that you see from the white one. And dandelions help your eyes. Just there's a video on here. It's pretty cool. I mean, organic bananas. All these was grown from outside. Tomatoes. All day. And then I got tomatoes in there, you guys. I keep my water and green tea. I got lemon, lemon alkalines your water. Learn about alkalinity. Alkaline. Got zucchini down there. Garlic's great for you. Um, cayenne pepper. And when you learn about everything, guys, you learn about what you're working on. Everything is a journey. Uh, and you'll, you'll, you'll start healing yourself, you know. When you move, God will move. And God is in the food. And you guys need, uh, learn about how there is no sickness. There is no disease. Your body's only at dis-ease. Meaning that you've got to fix a problem. If you have cells, if you regenerate that cell, then you fix the problem. That's the cure, and it's in the foods. Robert Morris tells a lot of stuff, and when you learn about the dairy products and what they're doing, you lose the enzyme at two to digest the dairy, but where it's getting messed up is, um, you know, they're genetically modifying animals, and um, they've got hormones, there's pus in the milk, so you go organic milk, but you still don't have the enzymes uh, digested, and it's um, pasteurized. You don't want stuff that's pasteurized, that's the stuff that messes you up. Then you look at like breads. You take uh, wheat bread, and it's all that complex stuff, like I can't eat grains, because I got psoriasis, and um, the more I'm eating, I'm detoxing. But see, I learned that the medicine I take, it suppresses. And it might clear up. But that's because my adrenals are clogged up. Your skin is your third kidney. And that's trying to detox. So why do you, would you take medication to make it stop detoxing? 
frequency when you learn about your adrenal system being backed up and then it gets all the way up into your brain you'll see why people are saying um, you're freezing your penile gland with this stuff and you look and about soy and uh, what soy is and soy lechin that they're putting in everything high fructose corn syrup all that stuff them labels to where that's what you basically got to do that's what they tell you vegetables and fruits like and if you start a detox fruits berries melons that's all you need you're not gonna um, you know it just depends on what that person wants to do and how far they're willing to take it but I've learned a lot you know and each one of these will do something and, and it's like when you cut a carrot or you cut the pepper or you cut the cucumber you know it's got that design it's got the wheel it's in everything it's God's mark and like the kale you want it to be crisp when you check it you, you and you could any vegetable I like them all that you didn't like you could make get salsa or organic or make your own organic and you could eat a salad or make a burrito but I don't do bread or yeast But even if you didn't like the taste, if you taste something seven times, your taste buds change seven different settings and eat it. Even if it's a small amount and your taste buds change. Some people do good if they eat just mono. Sometimes I've done it back and forth and I'm still learning everything. Um, you know, and you just cleanse, not just with water. I mean, water is a great cleanse, you know, and that's where fasting and stuff, um, you learn about that. And then you can produce energy when you understand this has all got solar energy plus the vitamin energy. And then you, and you know what you're working with now when your body is, as you're cleaning your body. Anybody can do this stuff. You know what I mean? It's all, we're all, it's a, it's a process. You, everyone starts somewhere. It's just keep stepping up. And you'll see the energy increase in a lot of different things if you're doing um, your meditation or whatever you want to call it and you're living in love you're following God inside Christ inside you're working on your consciousness and you're not out to impress people you'll do a whole lot better if you just sit back and listen you'll learn much I've been doing a lot of listening but um, I wasn't able to upload videos and I uploaded some today and um, I was just been working on me. Um, I was still watching you guys out there. And I know things are getting rough out there. And uh, I tried to get pictures of Mars last night. It was supposed to be by the moon. Looking like two moons. But they, the sky was uh, uh, pretty cloudy there at night time. But there's a lot more to... Uh, everything then you know what we think and you constantly learn and understand more the more you do the more clear your head is and um like cucumbers i find are pretty good for clearing your mind just like blend them up cucumber put a little salt in there you know and what salt you want to be using is sea salt because table salt is like one third glass one third sand one third salt that's cutting your artery when you eat it that's why people get high blood pressure from table salt but they tell you, you don't eat a lot of salt when you need salt you see or if you're dehydrated you need salt with that water but water is a very important and it's getting harder to get clean water that's why you should be stocking up on water you know what I mean it's always good to have enough you know is safe to drink but um i just thought i'd show you guys a little bit i'd set this stuff out i like it to get warm but crisp you know like this carrot's about to go see how it's bendable it's losing it the peppers are fresh those are fresh and the spinach see how some of it's limp because i cut it the other day and i needed to use it up and when you cut your plants if you are harvesting whatever it is if you break it like and cause stress to this plant it takes all the vitamins that whatever plant you're cutting or crunching off because you didn't cut it it takes all the 
the nutrients and dump it into the soil and then you break it up and eat it and it doesn't have its nutrients. So there's something else to remember. And oh, yeah, another thing, I got aloe plants the other day and they're coming back, but uh, I put them in the sun and I, I knew not to give them very much water because they're like a cactus, but I guess I gave them too much sun and they turned brown. So I brought them back inside and they're coming back. So it's important to know about your plants too that that you got and what you're working with. It's pretty cloudy out. Why well, I just thought I'd bring you guys some stuff about the food and what I've been up to. I'll tell you more later. I love you guys. Bye.